Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday, the 8th of June 2016. Please be sure to visit tradesignaler.com and uh, gain the latest signals and market updates from leading providers via the app. And as always, you can download it from the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly what's happening this morning. I think the uh, the um, summation this morning really is one of QE, 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 because the um, corporate bond buying certainly starts today. Uh, overnight, uh, really, the... Um, the weaker Chinese data certainly has hit sentiment or certainly has uh, led to a risk off uh, session this morning, although we have uh, or we are managing to claw back, even though we have the euro at lost such lofty heights. Now, the trade balance data overnight uh, from China certainly missed expectations. Exports certainly weaker, imports slightly better than expected. And a lot of that was towards Germany. Now, uh, the imports certainly increased towards Germany. So technically, it should be helping Germany today. Uh, and certainly isn't having that effect now other than that we had um, investment lending for homes uh, home loans out of uh, the uh, Australia certainly weaker than expected so therefore um, higher probability of uh, a rate cut there now in the uh, Australian uh, uh, stock market now uh, with regards to GDP overnight from uh, Japan certainly came in in line um, and uh, certainly uh, stronger, uh, much stronger than everybody expected, given the recent, obviously, concerns with regards to sales tax hike. Now, the uh, stellar performance really is from the UK this morning, with manufacturing industrial production certainly coming out better than expected. Now, the expectation for manufacturing production on a month-on-month -on -month basis was almost 0%, and it came in at 2%. Mm -hmm. Manufacturing production uh, came in at 2.3%, and 2%. So it's very strong UK data, certainly helping lift sentiment and negating the very sentiment from, sentiment from China. Although having said that, imports have increased, not exports, imports have increased in China, and therefore that does lend a helping hand to European equities to a large extent. Okay, but having said that, with euro being at 1.1370, even with corporate bond buying starting as well, that certainly isn't helping things at present in terms of exports. Oil prices certainly have bro broken through the $50 region. Copper certainly has started, started its rebound. Uh, Brent and oil certainly moving higher. Now, let me just bring up the chart of Brent. This should be very interesting. Let's bring up the chart of uh, sorry, crude oil. And you can clearly, clearly see in the four-hour chart we're breaking higher. and the daily chart we're breaking higher. So two reasons why the FTSE 100 certainly can rally here. Stronger UK data and obviously uh, uh, higher oil prices. So both are net net positive for the uh, the FTSE 100. Bear with me one second. My uh, internet certainly seems to be delayed or lagging today. So apologies for that. So whilst I bring up the chart of oil, or maybe it's just the server that's not working at present. Uh, as you can see, in terms of uh, fundamental, or let's look at a technical fact of, uh, picture now. First of all, the FTSE 100 yesterday we registered a topping tail. On the daily chart, now that topping tail certainly will be tested given the fact that oil prices have moved higher and obviously stronger UK data as well. So again, looking for a potential retest uh, and just to confirm, I am actually long the FTSE from 6278 and I'm looking for a potential retest of that 6320 zone on the uh, on the upside. 60-minute uh, chart, the FTSE 100. Apologies for this, folks. I'm not sure why it's so, so uh, delayed today. Not sure whether it's to do with the internet or whether it's a server come on come on come on okay let's see if I can bring up all the indices uh, euro stocks in the moment let's just bring up the daily hopefully it's not going to take as long hmm certainly is okay strange it's FTSE still going on hmm, very strange okay apologies for this folks apologies Let's just give it a few more seconds and let's see if it loads. Right, one second, let's see what I can do. Okay, here we go again. So yes, we're certainly loaded. So the 60 minute chart of the uh, FTSE has put in a potential bottoming tail. The bottoming tail was put in at 8 o'clock this morning. We had a pivot low of uh, 6263 and then we bounced. 
And now we're looking, like I said, to uh, to certainly layer an attack on the 6320 zone, if not potentially higher if oil prices continue to move higher. If I bring up the chart of oil now, hopefully we've certainly loaded there. Okay, so oil price is now the next potential uh, zone you're looking at is 52. So don't be surprised if we actually witness 52 on oil. If we go past 52, then you are looking at uh, 53 on oil and then obviously the ultimate resistance level is 60 now very very impressive i mean we did have this uh, key resistance zone down here at 48 certainly we've surpassed that and exceeded that uh, the daily chart as you can see here has 52 the diagonal trend line uh, is is uh, in concert with a potential test of 52 as well and therefore that obviously supports the uh, FTSE 100 moving higher as oil prices move higher so again certainly something to take into consideration folks okay so bear that in mind with regards to the FTSE and obviously with regards to oil as well okay certainly two uh, zones to uh, to watch out and observe European equities again like I said are lagging on the back of a stronger euro even with corporate bond buying it certainly isn't helping today okay uh, oil uh, approaching 52 bear that in mind okay FTSE 100 going back to that again again like I said looking for a potential siege at 6320 looking to uh, certainly pinpoint that uh, in terms of european equities uh, just before i go let's just know the FTSE 100 still isn't loading in terms of european equities let's just have a look here inside day on the daily chart at the moment so certainly an inside day with corporate bond buying starting as well apologies for the delay in the loading of this chart okay it looks like my chart certainly are not loading again so bear with me Okay, folks, everything is back online now, up and running. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 160 minute chart, you're retesting previous resistance equals support. You have a bottoming tail that was put in this morning. Obviously, with the with the stronger economic data that's uh, certainly been released in terms of industrial production and manufacturing production as well, certainly is helping the uh, FTSE 100 or is expected to help the FTSE 100 certainly uh, lay siege back to that 6320 zone along along with the uh, higher price of all which i've explained okay in terms of the 10 minute chart the FTSE 100 is giving you a rundown here next resistance level is 6295 after that is 6300 thereafter is 6310 and then you have 6325 as the next resistance potential resistance zones again bear in mind you do have this hns formation so i'm just going to give you this as a heads up Obviously, the bias is bullish at present, but the situation can certainly say, change with Brexit concerns in the background. This is your neckline, so remember your neckline, folks. Okay, your neckline is currently around the 6270 zone, and your right shoulder can go as high as 6300, even 6310, if need be. So, again, I will not be overtly bullish, and I'll be looking to potentially get exit very, very soon. Okay, so with regards to my current long position. Okay, now in terms of the rest of the markets, uh, the uh, European session or Euro stocks, you can certainly see we're starting to move higher here on the back of corporate bond buying news. So again, bear that in mind. You do have an inverted head and shoulders formation as well. So bear that in mind if this corporate bond buying scheme or argument certainly starts to uh, um, gather steam and uh, gain legs and you are looking at an inverted head and shoulders. Now, given the fact that the German bonds, and this is quite important, the bonds at the moment, certainly seem very way uh, overextended and with the euro usd as well currently uh, at the 1.1370 zone add that together it certainly is uh, certainly is, does make for interesting observation so again the uh, daily chart you can see here i mean all i'm doing is connecting the pivot highs together and you certainly get getting this projected potential pivot high as well so bear that in mind okay german bond certainly seem overextended but with this corporate bond buying story whether or not it's uh, uh, buy the rumor, sell the news type event. Okay, with it starting today, that certainly is something that you need to factor into your your trading equation. Okay, so from my perspective, always remain open minded. Uh, again, like I said, uh, Brexit concerns dominate. Uh, Brexit always uh, any geopolitical uh, situation or news event can always negate um, or can always negate uh, bullish QE. Okay, um, so again, bear that in mind. Okay. So, the my only concern is that uh, German bonds certainly, and given the the, um, the divergence between bonds moving higher and euro moving higher, it certainly is very strange. As always, I mean, if bonds go higher, yields move lower, and therefore the euro should technically move lower. But due to the uh, Fed uh, and its uh, uh, overtly dovish stance, it's certainly created this distortion. Okay, as also with regards to USD JPY, we're still languishing at 107, folks. 
uh, technically that should be risk off but again given the uh, um, uh, divergence between central bank policy at the moment especially with the fed not ra uh, raising rates that certainly is distorted to a large extent okay asia markets overnight china down nikkei higher again very very strange okay how do you decide for that so again certainly that's uh, that certainly is a puzzle and a conundrum copper uh, has bounced uh, so it's looking at the 60 minute chart of copper we can certainly see a bounce here all prices like i explained before we're, we're pacing and, and uh, looking to potentially test the 52 dollar level so currently at 50.8 and rising uh, approaching the 51 level and then the next level obviously is 52 based on my uh, resistance zones i mean you do have resistance at 51.7 so that'll be a zone that i'll be looking to reverse my FTSE short once we get to that level more than happy to reverse my FTSE short okay now in terms of the german dac let's see exactly where we position german dac certainly is uh, gasping for that gap fill above once we do close that gap then i will be looking to potentially reverse my position so again another argument there for potential short sell trade so bear that in mind okay so looking for gap fill and then obviously a reversal especially with corporate bond buying uh, obviously starting today you that may well be the catalyst for that gap to close also adding the fact that uh, german uh, imports certainly rose by 15 percent in the uh, economic data release overnight so again that could help with the uh, german dax as well 60 minute chart of the uh, french cac we did have a bearish engulfing to start off the day uh, but it certainly seems to be reversing at the moment again that unfilled gap remains so we'll certainly uh, take that into consideration previous support equals resistance is holding for now but again gap fill based on corporate bond buying as well uh, okay i think that's a summation um, good summation thus far in terms of the european markets be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25 uh, percent bonus offer goodbye now